Good day. Hey, be home by dinner. I love you. Good morning, Mr. Fielding. Good morning, Catherine. Hello, guys. Welcome back to this YouTube channel. In this video, we will present you with the 10 best Netflix original horror films. What films are those? See below. Don't be scared. We've met before. Number 10, Gerald's Game. Gerald's Game was released in 2017 and was directed by Mike Flanagan, while the script was written by Flanagan along with Jeff Howard. The film is adapted from Stephen King's novel of the same name, published in 1992. Gerald's Game tells the story of a woman named Jessie Burlingame, played by Carla Gugino, who is trapped in a remote vacation home after her husband, Gerald, decides to try something new. When having sex, But then her husband died suddenly of a heart attack, leaving Jessie shackled to the bed with her hands tied. The film explores Jessie's childhood trauma as she struggles to escape this tense situation. It's a beautiful dress. He put you in those handcuffs way before Gerald did. Back off! I believe that there's another man. Number 9, 1922. 1922 is adapted from Stephen King's novel of the same name, which was published in his short story collection Full Dark, No Stars in 2010. This Netflix horror film was directed by Zach Hilditch and stars Thomas Jane, Molly Parker, Dylan Schmid, Caitlin Bernard, Neil McDonough, and Brian Darcy James in the title role. Especially out here. The story is set in 1922 and follows a farmer named Wilfred James who plots the murder of his wife Arlette to inherit her land. After the murder, Wilfred and his son Henry begin to experience a series of terrifying supernatural events as a result of their crimes. The film received moderately positive reviews from critics for its scary story, strong acting, and being as faithful to the original source material as possible. Number 8, His House. His House tells the story of a South Sudanese refugee couple, Bol and Rial, who arrive in the UK after fleeing conflict in their home country. They are placed in temporary housing by the British government, but the house turns out to have a very dark history and is connected to the presence of an evil force that threatens them. The story in the film is inspired by the real experiences of refugees or immigrants who are full of trauma and challenges. This film is also the directorial debut for Remy Weeks. Even though this is his first film as a director, Weeks manages to create a very tense atmosphere. His House was released on Netflix on October 30, 2020 and received a positive response from audiences and film critics. You don't wonder what it tells me. It says I should be afraid of you. Number 7, Cargo. Cargo was directed by Ben Howling and Yolanda Ramke, who also wrote the film's script. The film is set in a post-apocalyptic world in Australia, where a zombie outbreak has destroyed most of the human population. Here, there is a father named Andy who is trying to find a safe place for his baby daughter after her mother was infected and became a zombie. Andy has limited time before he himself will be infected and turned into a zombie. This film received special appreciation for Martin Freeman's impressive acting in his role as a desperate father. The film was released on the streaming platform Netflix and received positive reviews from critics and audiences. Is it? I don't think no one's on the horizon. <laughs> Number 6, The Perfection. What's happening? Oh my god. The Perfection is a psychological thriller film released in 2018. The film was directed by Richard Shepard and co-written by Richard Shepard, Eric C. Sharmello, and Nicole Snyder. 
The story of the perfection follows two musicians, Charlotte, played by Allison Williams, and Lizzie, played by Logan Browning, where they have ties to a prestigious music school. They become involved in a series of mysterious and terrifying events after meeting in Shanghai. This film is known for its complicated plot and unexpected twists. Please note that this 2018 film has some very intense and controversial scenes that may not be suitable for all audiences. Number 5, Apostle. In 2018, director Gareth Evans, who is also known as the director of the films The Raid and The Raid 2, made a Netflix horror film entitled Apostle. The story is set in 1905 and follows a man named Thomas Richardson who travels to a remote island to rescue his sister who was kidnapped by a mysterious religious sect. Delusion. God is pain. God is suffering. On the island, Thomas reveals a dark secret. Even though it didn't star big names, Apostle was a huge success. The film is also able to display a tense atmosphere, even though there are no ghosts or monsters in it. Apostle also proved that Gareth Evans is not only capable of making action films, but also capable of making horror films. Do for us. Number 4, Hush. Hush is a Netflix horror film released in 2016. The film was directed by Mike Flanagan and tells the story of Maddie Young, a deaf writer who lives alone in an isolated house. When a merciless killer tries to enter her home, Maddie must use her wits and inner strength to survive the ensuing terror. Squish. Starring Kate Siegel, John Gallagher Jr., and Michael Trucco, this film received critical and audience praise for its story writing, direction, and good acting from its cast. Actually, this film doesn't have much dialogue, so you can relax while watching this film. Update me on the Psycho Breakfast Club. Number 3, The Babysitter. And they made a deal with the devil. And they only have three hours to complete the ritual. This film will be suitable for those of you who want a Netflix horror film with a comedy twist. The Babysitter was released in 2017, and was directed by MCG with a script written by Brian Duffield. The film is quite fun, where the film tells the story of a teenager named Cole Johnson who discovers that his beautiful and popular babysitter, B, is a member of a satanic cult. The worst part is, nobody believes me. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. But... When Cole accidentally witnesses a violent ritual carried out by B and his friends, he must fight them to survive. The Babysitter continued with a sequel entitled The Babysitter, Killer Queen. But the sequel is considered very bad, and I don't think you need to watch it. Guys, I'm good. Where's Sonya? Getting cookies. I watched you all die! We are dead. Duh! <laughs> the only person who survived How do number two this? fear street trilogy where it all started the fear street trilogy is a series of horror films adapted from the fear street novel series by rl stein this trilogy consists of three films which were released consecutively in july 2021 such as fear street part 1 1994 fear street part 2 1978 and fear street part 3 1666 each of these films is set in a different time, as stated in the title. This trilogy tells a series of murder cases in a small town called Shadyside. Killer capital, USA. It's happening now. People believe that these cases were caused by the curse of a witch named Sarah Fear who was hanged about a century ago. The main character is Dina, who initially feels skeptical about the existence of the curse. But she started to believe it when she and the people she cared about became the next targets. Who the hell was that? How should I know? She was hot! The bitch seemed normal. Amazing option. Number one, Bird Box. Bird Box was released in 2018. This film was directed by Suzanne Beer and adapted from the novel of the same title by Josh Mallerman. 
The film also stars Sandra Bullock, Travante Rhodes, John Malkovich, Sarah Paulson, and many more. Bird Box tells the story of Mallory Hayes who tries to protect herself and her two children from the presence of a mysterious entity that forces people to commit suicide if they see this entity. It's in the form of your horse. We can't stay here. Every contact we have had with the outside. To survive, they must wear blindfolds and rely on other senses to communicate and move. They embark on a dangerous journey, hoping to reach safety without being seen by the mysterious entity. Bird Box also has a sequel entitled Bird Box, Barcelona which was released recently. Yes. <laughs> Those are some Netflix original horror films that many people consider to be the best. Each of these films offers an interesting story to listen to and is of course suitable for those of you who like watching horror films. That's enough for this video, don't forget to press the subscribe button, like and comment on this video so that we are more enthusiastic about making other top 10 videos. And of course, share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.